Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be answering the question, how soon can I add corals to my new reef tank and what should I add first? Now, this is the question I get quite often, not only on the live streams, but also via email. And I think I've answered it a couple times in a few videos, but either way, I want to go ahead and just get the information out there really quickly and hopefully guide you in the right direction. So the first thing here is you never want to add corals. And again, this is my opinion. You never want to add corals before your tank is cycled. Now there has been some studies and people have tried out uh, adding corals before your tank is cycled, but I don't think that's a good idea because when I like to add corals to a system, I like the system to be as stable as possible. So that means you are cycled. That means you're through the ammonia, nitrite, nitrates, phosphates, all that good stuff gone through the process and you just have nitrates and phosphates and your tank is running as it should. Stability is key when it comes to corals, regardless if they're soft corals, LPS or SPS. Now, uh, you will get away with a little bit more leeway when you have easier corals like the soft corals. Those are mushrooms, zoas, pallies, all that kind of stuff, opposed to SPS, acroporas. Now, uh, when it really comes down to it, it's, it's up to you, but you have to take this in, into consideration as well. You are adding a live animal to a box of water that you are keeping uh, track of and taking care of in your house. And it's just, I feel it's cruel to add things to a system that is just not ready for them. Again, there are studies out there. People said that, you know, you can add corals. They are producing waste, which does contribute to the cycling process. But in my opinion, and what I would do personally is I would never add corals until the system is cycled. Now. When it comes to uh, what you should add first, that's really gonna depend on your uh, your comfort level and what you are starting out with. Now, if you are just a beginner, I recommend the easy stuff. Mushrooms, zoas, uh, some easy LPS like um, uh, hammers, torches, frog spawns. Those are all relatively easy corals, dunking corals, candy canes, all that kind of stuff. And uh, as you progress, you wanna move into some harder stuff, some easy Montiporas, uh, digis, uh, red Montes, Purple Montes, uh, Fire Digis, all that kind of stuff. And then you can work your way up to easy Acroporas, Staghorns, Green Slimers, ATL Blue Clovers, the easier stuff. And then eventually, you know, down the road, you can move into Millies and Torts. So it really just kind of comes down to what you are uh, familiar with and what your experience level is. But I definitely recommend you don't uh, add things that you're just not ready for or, or you've never uh, had in the past. So if it's your first system, I recommend that you cycle it first. It doesn't take that long. You can add some shrimp or ammonia to your system, wait a few weeks. Once you have just nitrates and phosphates on your test kit, you're safe to start adding some of those easier uh, corals and then progress your way up as you uh, go through the experience of learning the hobby. So that's it for this video. If you guys like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions or anything you would want me to answer in the future video, feel free to put that stuff in the comment section and I'll see you later. Peace.